Marit? Anybody? This is Dr. Yasna. I need backup. Brace, come in. I have a... I'm showing disturbing symptoms. A brain fog, severe pain in the frontal lobe. Confusion. First glance, there are no serious injuries. And yeah, I'm quite concerned. I don't even know how I got here. Oh, well, here it is. Backup needed, I repeat. Do you hear me? for a moment. My receiver's dead, but the transmitter may still be working. Damn it, I lost my beacon. Where is it? I have two solid hectobars in the tank. That's enough for several hours. There aren't many supplies, which would suggest a quick recce. Or was that just the end of the mission? Just like I thought. Nothing. I'm on my own. The beacon can't be detected either. Oh, let's see if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Oh, am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. We took two landers to the surface. They usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. Leading to... Right! I was heading straight to the camp. He must be somewhere near. Send up a flare, the probe! Anything! Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like... I need to stop doing this. 
I'm looking for something that resembles a dog. That rope. I think it's mine. I'll try to retrieve it later. It might come in handy. A specific structure, which does not resemble any canine. I'm checking another object, which also doesn't match. Oh, focus. I called Needle. Right. It resembles the eye of a needle. I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. see our ship you're not leaving without me are you <sighs> I'm in a canyon which doesn't make it easy to navigate oh, I hope the data is trustworthy and you're close by on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. Huh. There's water on this desert planet. that did not allow the biosynosis to form. It won't be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration, as we all remember. Third rule.
Did you check on Yasna? I was about to. Already awake. Good. My body might be awake, but my brain is still in the fridge. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. Clearly your sense of humor was first awake. Now, try to get up, slowly. But Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Here, take it and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. In small sips. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. Will you help me here? Sure, I'm coming. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yes, now look for yourself. This is not the right planet. You shouldn't be walking yet. Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Crow, astrogator. Debating chamber in 50 minutes. Uh, this can't be good. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. out of the valley, leading more or less towards the camp. But I can't go this way.
Time to go. Mechanically active, ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear, and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. Over 400 meters in a straight line. I, I see you. Can you hear me? I just need to get down from here. The escarpment is about 10 meters high. It looks like I could slide down. of the frying pan into the fire at least i can hook the rope here oh well if it catches me so be it this suit will hold Great. A route that won't break my neck. <laughs> I hope. <sighs> okay. I'm at the bottom. <coughs> Looks better from here. I'll be with you soon. i 
visibility could be better. Maybe I should wait. much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But I don't remember it. Did, did I black out again? Heavy. Bill is not inviting. Legs become too heavy. Hands become too weary. Down you go. Night is not that scary. I remember you, Regis' third satellite. Astrogator, sir. Crew? Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. Great. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? 
Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, 0 Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes. And yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the word of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, Doctor. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought intolerant evolution occurred here. And that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analyses? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis III is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? Oh, the Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Oh. I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean together with its crew of almost a hundred men. Professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cole. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm hmm Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage, feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry. Not before an hour, or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Artie to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you two. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. 
As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, if any. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? Thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Oh, it's just an Androbot. Androbot! Androbot, follow my instructions. A Androbot? <sighs> I'm reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. Oh, uh, maybe if I... RT, default position. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Hello. Anyone there? I repeat, Crowter is in a serious condition. Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowther at the camp, and he's not well. What happened to him? I... I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse two. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, doctor. Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? I 
Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders. And there were no visible injuries. So, I test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No. Methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Okay. What should I do? Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. Hello? A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowther kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. Followed those deposits of metal. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA 2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broke. <laughs> Touche, sir. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help Just... somehow? Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Hmm. Huh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. <sighs> what about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Fascinating. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice specimen. Oh, it's still alive. Ah, the fish Dr. Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. And Robin, is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. And Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start the search soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. My suit is pinching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate you, boys. 
We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a criminal act. Oh, please spare me these lamentations. The only thing I can do is walk along the Dragonfly Corridor. Uh, you're not missing out on anything, Yasna. Crackling suit, big gloves, oh, every hitting the helmet's glass. But the beach is like the one at home, right? Uh, uh, almost. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, not the... Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Gladly. Probe in the water and switch into manual. Distance, 100. It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. I catch at least one for examination, then I'll be able to say more. got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart that Androbot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it.
not here either. I have the extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. Like anything I've ever seen. Is it going to work? We'll see. I rebooted the systems. That should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Oof. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes, unfortunately. <sighs> the positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. <gasps> what? He moved. Finally. Artie should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Got you, tin bastard. Uh, thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. <laughs> 